October is Michigan College Month, and to help give students that extra push, several Michigan colleges and universities are waiving application fees. It's all part of the American College Application Campaign. Several colleges like Grand Valley State and Saginaw Valley State do not have application fees. Universities that are now waiving those fees include MSU, Central Michigan, and Wayne State. Students can request a fee waiver in the application or use a waiver code provided by the school waivers. Our waivers are automatically granted to students who qualify for free and reduced price lunch. Application fees are waived until the end of the month. Also as part of Michigan College Month, Central Michigan University is partnering with the Michigan Department of Education to help address a school counselor shortage. Joining us to talk about this, the grant program being offered is Professor and School Counseling Program Coordinator at CMU, Ellen Armbruster. Good morning, Ellen. How are you? Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. It, we realize now there's a shortage of counselors. Uh, let's start with, you know, why is that and what are things being done to help that? Well, you're absolutely right. There is a shortage of counselors. Um, this is due to things like poor pay and heavy administrative workloads, um, sometimes safety concerns after COVID. One of the really big things that gets in the way is the very high student to school counselor ratio that we have in Michigan. The American School Counselor Association recommends 250 students to one school counselor. Here in Michigan, we have 638 students to one school counselor. So that's a pretty, pretty big deal that we need to be thinking about. Um, mental health has become a very crucial part of school counselors' jobs. We, um, as school counselors, advocate for the mental health of all students. Um, by doing things like classroom lessons and short-term counseling interventions, as well as referrals to community resources when longer-term support is needed. But the bottom line is that there are unmet mental health needs that are posing a significant obstacle to our students in terms of their development, their career, academic, and social-emotional development, and it also compromises school safety. Uh, you know, you said on average 630 students to one counselor. When you're dealing with numbers like that, I mean, how are counselors giving the proper guidance? Or is it even realistic for counselors to be able to give the proper guidance when they're dealing with those kind of numbers? That is such a good question. Um, it is very difficult to do that. It can be overwhelming. It's a very difficult job, and there's a lot of burnout because of that. So, um, we actually at CMU teach um, the what we call the Ask a National Model of School Counseling, which is a very structured um, approach to building a comprehensive school counseling program in order to reach all students, because that really is the job of the school counselor. Um, however, with 638 students per school counselor, it's pretty hard to do that. Additionally, uh, in not all schools have school counselors. For example, in 2020, 40% of Michigan school districts had no school counselors in them. So there are many, many students that are falling through the cracks and don't have and don't have the access to the mental health care that they need. And this, of course, is um, during a time when depression and anxiety have been increasing, as has suicidality. In fact, 20% of our students are in need of mental health services, and of those, only one in five are receiving them. Uh, Ellen, I know that you're speaking on behalf of Michigan, what's going on in our state, but is this a nationwide problem too? Um, oh yes, I think it is definitely true across the nation. It, it's different in different states, and it, it is notable that um, and I mentioned that ratio of students to school counselors. Michigan is actually the third worst in the nation for the school counselor to student ratio. So there are some states that have better ratios and are able to serve their students. Um, our school counselors here are just as qualified and competent, um, but there's only so much you can do when the ratio is so high. So, Ellen, CMU is helping train more guidance counselors of the future, but what can be done now to bridge that gap? Who can help fill that role in the meantime? Is there anyone? That's a wonderful question. I'm so glad you asked because CMU is doing a lot of um, wonderful things in that area. As you know, we already have a strong school counseling program um, that's nationally accredited, but we have a couple other initiatives happening that I'd like to highlight. Number one, 
We've partnered with the Michigan Department of Education on the MIELSIS grant, which is the Michigan Earn, Learn, and Serve in Schools grant. This grant provides a stipend for school counseling students during their internships, which is wonderful and very important for grad students who are often, often struggling financially. But then the real beauty of it is that the grant continues after graduation. So students who are working on the grant this year, next year, will go into low resource schools as fully licensed school counselors and provide services in buildings that previously had unfilled school counselor positions, which is just wonderful because they'll be able to serve the needs of students who really desperately need their services. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention is that CMU is working on a, a postgraduate school counseling certificate. It's not approved just yet. It's actually going through the curricular process as we speak. And when it is approved, it will provide a pathway for people who are already trained as mental health counselors to become school counselors. Um, it's a program we hope to launch in fall of 24 after it's approved. And people who enroll in the program will be able to complete school counselor training in two or three semesters rather than the two or three years it takes to complete the entire school counseling degree. So with these two initiatives, we are along with our um, regular master's degree in school counseling, we're really hoping to get more school counselors into the highest need schools more quickly. Yeah, Ellen, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Again, Ellen Armbruster with Central Michigan University. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you. Thank you.